Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's session, we are going to discuss about the most interesting topics. And these topics are very very important before we get into Cucumber BDD Framework Automation Development. Let's understand first, why do we prefer doc strings? In what ways data table and tax help us in the automation? Let's understand the importance of test runner and attributes play a vital role inside the test runner these attributes act as a key component of a test runner. Don't worry, we are going to discuss them in detail. We already talked about uh, parameterization and regular expression in the last video. We talked about uh, the scenario outline and examples. Let's have a quick overview of it. And here comes a wonderful component, hooks and reports. We are going to see the real-time usage of hooks and reports in Cucumber Automation. And finally, we'll end up learning different uh, cucumber and tool combinations and other BDD tools. Let's move on. In the last video, we talked about Gherkin primary keywords. Now let's learn Gherkin secondary keywords. Doc strings help to specify multiple lines of data inside a feature file and it should be placed inside the triple quotes. The indentation inside the triple quotes is very important. Let's see an example so that I'll make you understand better. Shopping cart or feature is a feature file. We have the feature shopping cart item verification. As an existing user, user are able to add an item and verify the item on shopping cart page. This is the feature description. A regression test suit is a tag and we have a scenario user lands on inventory page. These are all the test steps when and then. So we talked about everything in the last video itself. I'm just giving a quick overview of it. And this is the thing we are currently talking about. We have portion of text in multiple lines. Carried out all the things with a sleek, streamlined slide plaque that melts uncompromising style with unequaled laptop and tablet protection. So we cannot place this particular text in a single line. That is why we prefer to use this particular text in multiple lines. So this text is being passed inside the triple quotes. In the right side, you could see shopping got test at Java. It's a step definition file. We map the then step. User should be able to add the item. I mean to say this entire portion of text is being passed inside this particular method. Verify item description text. This takes a parameter item description. And you can have any parameter name. It is not only item description. You need to remember one thing. As a best practice, we must need to place two spaces before this text. So that the indentation looks better. So that's about doc strings. Let's move on to data table. Data table is used to perform data driven testing. What is the special thing inside the data table is we don't need to use any keyword. When we were talking about scenario outline, there we had used examples keyword. So no keyword is required inside data table. And it adds multiple parameters in a step definition file in the tabular form. It can be implemented with header or with single rows of data. It can be implemented without header also. And it, we can have multiple rows of data inside a data table. Let's see an example data table without header. Login data table or feature is a feature file and we have the feature scenario and different kinds of test steps. What we are trying to do here is we are trying to pass the username and password from a feature file inside this particular step definition file login data table dot Java. Enter username password is a method that takes the parameter login credential in the form of data table. And the entire record is being assigned to a data list. You need to remember this particular method as list. In the second line, data dot get of zero represent first row and get of zero represent first column. And this get of one represent second column. So this is how we fetch the data from the data table. So we had seen the example data table without header. Let's see one more data table with header single row combination. Here we use header with the data. When I say header, Obviously, map comes to your mind. I know, it's just simple. So everything remains the same. Introducing and password is a method and login credential is the parameter in the form of data table. 
and just make a note of it. Asmap is the method through which we are trying to fetch the data from the feature file, login data table dot feature. And the interesting thing here is data dot get of zero dot get username. So using this key username, we are trying to fetch the data from this feature file username. And using password, we are getting the password value. So that's it. Data table with header multiple rows. When I say multiple rows, iteration is your mind. Yeah, that is correct. We have username and password with multiple rows of data. So everything remains the same. Enter username is password is a method, same data table combination. Here we are using for loop to iterate over the data. That's it. Map string comma string data login credential or as maps string dot class comma string dot class. Since it is uh, strings, right? Username and password. That is why we prefer to use string dot class and string dot class. And here using data dot get of username that fetches the username value. Data dot get of password that fetches the password value. See how cool it is. Let's go back to previous slide. So far we had talked about doc strings and data table. Let's get into tags. So tags are helping us to organize our test cases. Test cases, it could be anything, uh, smoke test cases or regression or sent to interesting test cases. So whichever test cases we want to trigger, so that happens based on the tags that are defined inside test runner. And it is not specifically for scenario, it also works with features. Now let's see about test runner and attributes. So I don't want to read through all these points, Let's jump directly inside the uh, testrunner.java file. Let me hold this slide for a moment so that you can have a look at it. Okay, let's move on. So here, testrunner.java is a testrunner file. Okay, so as I stated earlier, so testrunner acts as an engine in Cucumber framework that drives a complete execution with keyword helps to trigger the test runner and at cucumber options that helps to hold the different attributes i mean to say features glue step def notification tags dry run monochrome plugin so these are called the attributes you might have a doubt so far we had talked about feature file step definitions how it gets connected so that binding happens with the help of test runner. If you could keenly watch here, we have mentioned the path of a feature file. I mean, login.feature, right? In the top right, you could see the login.feature file, right? So it is present inside this particular folder, SRC test Java features. And one more feature file, shopping cart.feature, so that is being represented here. If we have more than one feature file, we are representing inside this curly braces with the comma. If you have only one particular feature file, right? We don't need to mention inside this particular braces. You can direct is the path of path of the particular feature file. And if we could see here, glue equal to steps. Steps is a package name in which we are placing all the step definition files. And we have different uh, attributes, step notification, tags and all. So we are going to discuss them in detail in the upcoming Cucumber Automation Framework development. For now, let's learn so these are all the attributes that are being present inside uh, testrunner.java. So that's about uh, testrunner and, and attributes. We already talked about parameterization and regular expression in the part two video. Let's have a quick overview of it. Parameterization helps to run the same scenario with multiple sets of data and data driven testing is implemented using scenario outline with examples keyword. So example keywords is mainly required to perform a data driven testing. So if you want to play around with multiple sets of data, you need to have scenario outline and examples keyword combination. And it also reduces the code duplication. Regular expressions, it's a pattern that describes a certain amount of text. In the bottom right corner, we have different ways in which we can represent the patterns. That's it. Let's talk about hooks. Hooks are the wonderful component that are present inside uh, Cucumber. It is nothing but the blocks of code that runs before or after each scenario. Add before and add after manages the entire code workflow. It also reduces the code redundancy. 
in test and z we have uh, add before suit add before class add before test and all right so those are called as test and z annotations in cucumber we call this uh, hooks so we have uh, before work and after work so inside uh, before work we can set up a driver we can set up the database connection we can set up the test data we can set up the browser cookies if you want to have specific uh, page redirection also that is possible and inside after work we can quit the driver we can close the database connection we can flush out the test data browser cookie deletion is possible and we can close the report instance as well for now understand the theories that is fine for now no need to worry about the implementation part let's see an example for hooks also hooks.java is a hooks file it extends the properties of a base class and we use add before hook here at regression test suit is a tag name and inside the before test method right we are trying to invoke a driver and then we are trying to invoke a web page uh, source demo.com we are trying to maximize the window and we are setting up the implicit weights right after hook uh, we are trying to quit the driver so this is a basic example of hooks let's get into reports Cucumber generates the test output in the Eclipse console. Default behaviors can be overridden based on the user choice. You might think uh, what is default behavior and all. No need to worry. Let's see them in detail in the upcoming video. And we can generate different types of reports using Cucumber. It could be a pretty report, it could be a usage report, or HTML report, or JSON report, XML report, extent report. So this is the reason I would say the client is looking out for uh, cucumber automation framework development so that they can generate different kinds of reports based on their choices so that's about uh, reports let's move on to cucumber tool combinations see uh, most of the organization is uh, moving towards a bdd framework so uh, the reason is the cucumber provides an option to bind with different tools I mean to say we can have a selenium with JUnit combination, selenium with testng combination, apm with testng combination, with rest assured combination, with cypress combinations. So far, lot of combinations are available with Cucumber. So it, Cucumber is going to play a vital role. I am saying this for n number of times. So try to learn all the concepts, understand the theories. We will work on the automation framework development part in the upcoming video. Let's move on like cucumber we have different tools out there in the market specflow behave j behave concordian behat jasmine as an automation engineer we must need to learn at least one bdd framework tool i would suggest you to learn uh, cucumber at least so just wanted to convey this information to you with this we have come to the end of the session in the next session we are going to play around with selenium cucumber framework creation i am really excited let's rock Thank you for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. QA Coding Express is my channel. And click on the bell icon for the instant notification. I have different playlist. If you guys want to learn any new technology or any tool or something, you can go to the, my playlist and you can learn a lot. Thanks again. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.